I wonder if the Pokemon on this end are gonna be dead. Whoa! Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike! I didn't get it on sync, but that's okay. And welcome back to episode number 6 of my Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. For today's episode, we have one goal. Don't let any of my Pokémon die. Last episode was a bloodbath. We lost four Pokemon last episode, and we also failed an encounter. So it's almost like we lost five Pokemon because we couldn't even catch anything either. And I really, really don't want to lose this randomizer because I'm having so much fun playing it. So as you can see, I did a lot of training in between the episodes. I brought everybody's levels up a lot because these are the only five Pokemon we have. So again, the goal for this episode is bring all the Pokemon home. Now, there's something really cool I want to show you. I was doing some training on this route, and you guys remember, there was a wild Eternatus here last time. Ooh, what in the world is this thing? Is that a Shadow Cramorant? I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of red. It's freaking me out just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. You guys give me a name for this thing in the comment section below. I think the mod is supposed to be Shadow Cramorant, but it's just like a red Cramorant. Okay, this thing's making me uncomfortable. I'm gonna get away from it now. But yeah, you guys remember how last episode there was an Eternatus on this route, and there it is again. Let's try not to run into that, because that's how we lost Voldemort. But there was also this guy over here, the Wild Verizon Wireless. I would have loved to catch this thing. This is my favorite out of the Musketeer Pokemon. Well, that's Enkeldeo. And look at that smile. It's such a beautiful Pokemon. Hopefully, the stars align just right for us, and we're able to catch one later on in the randomizer. All right, enough showing you guys cool stuff on this route. Let's keep going forward. Oh, also, one more thing. I did get the Pokemon from the daycare. However, it counted as Route 5, so I'm not allowed to use it. If you're curious, it hatched into a Rufflet. There he is. I knew he was there. This guy always wants to battle. I feel like you don't fight a rival as much as Hop in any other Pokemon game. Maybe that's just because I've been playing so much Sword and Shield and all I've got is Hop on the brain right now, but I feel like all the other rivals in the other games are spaced out a little bit more. Here, it feels like every time you turn the corner, Hop's there and waiting for you to fight. All right, so Hop is sending out a Dreepy. Kind of funny, considering how there's Drakeloak all over Route 5. Maybe he just caught one over here, I don't know. And hmm, we do have Disarming Voice, which is super effective on this thing, but I think Psybeam is actually going to do a little bit more damage overall because of the stab same type attack bonus, which makes it have a little bit more base power. Okay, well, we one-shotted it, we got a critical hit, so it doesn't really matter. Hop, why are you winking at me? Does anybody else get uncomfortable when Hop winks at them, or is that just me? All right, Pokemon number two. Ooh, Clay Doll. Oh, if only we had Slughorn alive for this right now. Slughorn would have loved taking this thing on. Well, I'm thinking Willow shouldn't be too bad against this thing. We have the super effective ghost type moves, and we have super effective grass type moves, cover both bases, and it's holding a wave incense. Maybe it likes to surf, I don't know. <laughs> Trick Room, who's slower, me or you? Probably you. I know Claydol is not the fastest Pokemon at all, but it would be so nice if it benefited me. Oh yes! Let's go! Let's go! Thank you for making me so much faster than you! Typical. I should have known you mastered tight matchups. Trick Room again. You can do Trick Room twice. I've actually never seen anybody do that before. So Hop realized that going for Trick Room was a mistake, and then he cancelled out the Trick Room by using another Trick Room. I said the trainers were going to be smart in this game. I didn't know they'd be doing plays like that. Alright, get that clay thing out of here. It's too bad though, I really wish he left that trick room up. That would be so nice, going into like the rest of his Pokemon, being able to use my slow guys. Ooh, ooh, that's a beautiful shiny! That is a gorgeous shiny, I love the purple. But I'm absolutely not going to be able to stay in against this thing. Now, I kind of want to use Norbert, but Barty is the safe choice. Barty just has much higher defense, and I really feel comfortable bringing Barty in against this thing. Norberts, you'll get your chance eventually. Barty, this is definitely you though. Ooh, Sky Attack. What are you, missing though right here? Nobody ever uses Sky Attack. That move is just plain awful. I guess our best move to use here is Ancient Power. Let's see how much this Sky Attack is gonna do. It's a strong attack, but we resist it and we're very bulky, so yeah. Yeah, we're fine against that. Do that again, please. Actually, I would really like that. Or, is it living? I have my camera. Oh, wow, look at these crits today! 
Look at these crits! It's like my team is back with a vengeance. We lost so many Pokemon last episode that- Oh wow, somebody else is learning Ancient Power too! It's not gonna be as good on Norbert, but we might as well learn it anyway over Tackle. But yeah, it's like my team is so mad that they saw all their friends die last episode that they're coming back this episode with a vengeance. If you want to get more crits, be my guest. And oh wow, Alolan Diglets in the Gala region. It's been a hot minute since I've seen that thing. We've already used Willow earlier. Let's send out Hermione. Hermione should also be able to take this thing out too. I think a bullet seed should make quick work of this thing. Wonder Room. All the rooms today. Trick Room, Wonder Room. Hopefully we could send Hop running to his room after this. Blaze Kick. Blaze Kick. I'm so glad I'm part dragon type. Thank you for being part dragon, you apple monster cake pie thing. Are we gonna get four hits? Oh, wow. Wow, this is so good. Usually with Bullet Seed, I always get unlucky and just hit the two. But we're getting the crits. We're getting all the hits. How great is that? Alright, Coughing, we are absolutely gonna swap out because this is where it's gonna come out and do Sludge Wave or something crazy and knock out Hermione, but not on my watch. Baneful Bunker. It's actually a pretty legit move, but I'm glad he did that while I was switching. Ooh, okay. This thing's living for once. Thrash! Coughing using Thrash. Now, the one thing I don't like about Cedric is Cedric's defense is kind of low. It probably looks like it didn't take that much damage, but you gotta remember, that's a coughing. Coughing is not known for its high attack stats. I'm just kind of worried about using Cedric because he puts out the damage, but he can also take a lot of damage from those hits. Okay, the Wonder Room is gone. And what is this ace that you're gonna be sending out here, Hop? What's your last Pokemon? Squirtle! Squirtle! Why do you get a Kanto starter and I don't? That's upsetting. Well, I have some magical leaves to show your Squirtle. And it's gonna live. Please don't have something crazy. Dive! Well, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna go for a potion. We really don't need it, but just in case this thing comes up with a crit, again, nobody's dying today. We gotta make sure that Cedric lives. Ooh, wow, okay, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, so if that was a crit and I didn't heal, Cedric would have died there. See what I mean about Cedric having terrible defenses? That's a Squirtle. If that was a Blastoise using dive? Ugh. So that's good to know. We'll definitely take note of that. Remember, Cedric cannot take hits. You've gotten strong, Pokétips. Seems I've got to train even harder from now on. Everybody's giving me the revives in this game. <laughs> I literally, in between the cuts, I just go to the Pokémart and sell this thing for money. I have no use for revives at all. I wonder if the Pokémon on this end are gonna be dead. Oh, that was incredible! That was the best thing I've ever seen! This is why I love randomizers. They get me very emotional when Pokemon die, but when we see Seismato just going... Whoop, 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 oh, that makes it so fun. That makes it so much fun for me. And there's more Verizons. Nope, I thought that was a Pokemon over there, but that's just a rock. Oh, wow, that's Seismato. Ah! I kind of want to find another trainer on this route. This is one of the reasons why I like playing with reduced EXP, because normally in randomizers when everybody has two Pokemon, if I don't have reduced XP, I get so overleveled from just, like, playing the game normally. But doing this, I could just fight random people like you, office worker Gabrielle. Now, the really nice thing about Cedric's typing is normally I would have to get out as soon as I see a ghost type. But Cedric's part normal type, so we have a nice immunity to something that would be super effective against us normally. Ooh, Feather Dance, alright. Go ahead, dance those feathers on me all day. I don't care about that. We don't use our attack stat. Let's go for Psybeam. I actually thought this would do a little bit more damage, but Driftblim is a very, very bulky balloon. Ooh, Hurricane, come on, miss. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yes, this is what I need. Alright, Drift Blim down, and your second Pokémon is Cophagrius! Another pure ghost type, so I feel comfortable staying in against this thing. <laughs> this Pokémon reminds me a lot of General Grievous from Star Wars with all those arms there. Aw, oh, Confuse Ray, why do you gotta do me like that? What do you think, guys? Are we gonna be able to hit it? Are we gonna be able to hit it? Come on! Come on, buddy! Cedric, you could do it! Yeah! Nice, now get a crit and end this battle. No, I guess that's too much to ask for, that's okay. And we're snapping out of the confusion. My Pokemon are so good this episode. Thank you so much. Best team. We're going through this episode. No deaths at all.
Alright, enough with Route 5. We had a lot of disaster happen here, so it's nice to finally be getting over to the next town. I believe this is Holbury? Yeah, listen to that music over there, and wait a second, that's Chairman Rose right there in his little vacation suits! Our sincerest apologies. The Chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Please leave now. Okay, see you later, Chairman. No need to rush off. I can still do more autographs. I'll even give you my Pokémon League card. Ugh. We need the support of our fans to keep doing what we're doing. And speaking of the support of the fans, you guys rock. I think we just hit 500,000 subscribers, half of a million subscribers. That number is just mind-blowing. Thank you so much. All right, back to Rose. Chasing them off like that. Aren't you being a bit too harsh, Olina? Fans are very important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work. For their sake. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you too, Chairman. Oh, and you were- Ooh! Oh, that's awful. Bede's whole, like, goal in life is to impress the Chairman. <laughs> and Chairman Rose doesn't even remember them. Meanwhile, there's me here, and he's like, Ah, and your name was Pokétips, right? We were just talking about you. You were talking about me? Why were you talking about me? I don't know if I want him to be talking about me. Look at that outfit. Oh, he's going to a seafood restaurant? I'm not really a big fan of seafood myself, so I think I'll pass on that. Now, I'm checking on the other window, and it looks like this town has fishing spots. I'm not exactly sure where the fishing spots are, but if we can get to one, that means we have a new encounter right before the gym. Let me see, can we go down here? Is there a fishing spot down here? Oh wait, we gotta get off of our bike. Shell Bell, that's actually a really good item. Nope, we've got Team Yell over here blocking the way. I hate how they're always just in the corner. I guess one of the things I don't like about Sword and Shield is how they make Team Yell the roadblock whenever you want to, like, leave a town and they're just, like, in the way blocking it. I just wish they got a little bit more creative with their roadblocks. Ah, there's a fishing spot. Okay, we gotta wait for this thing to come back. And... Alright, let's cast our rod in the water and let's get an encounter here. I actually did not think we were gonna get an encounter in this town. So let's go ahead and see and... Oh, no way! No way! That's so funny! We get a Toxel? Yes! And it's a level 23 Toxel. That's pretty cool. I really don't even know who I could use to weaken this thing right now, so I think we're just gonna go for the uh, lucky Pokeball. Let's actually throw a friend ball at it. Let's see if it wants to become our friend. Will you be my friend, Toxel? No. Alright, well, it's going for Flail. Not liking that too much, because the more I weaken it, the more damage that's gonna do. Yeah, I think going for Magical Leaf is the right play here. I feel like if I went for Psybeam, it would knock out the Toxel, because we know Toxel is definitely not the most defensive Pokemon. I mean, just look at that cute little thing. Ooh, it's going for Growl? I actually like that. And here's why. I could go for Encore and make it just keep growling at me over and over and over again. The spotlight's all on you, buddy. Good, so now for at least a few turns, we don't have to worry about it damaging us, so let's try throwing a ball at it. Let's go for the Great Ball this time. And absolutely no shakes at all. I'll try weakening it just a little bit more. Disarming Voice is not very effective against this thing, and it's really weak, so as long as we don't crit, we should be good here. Yeah, okay, we're in the red. That's where I want to be. You know what, let's try one of those rocket balls. These things always do very well for me. And we're getting a shake. We're getting two shakes. We're getting three shakes. But we're not getting the Toxel. What about a heal ball? These things are not really as good as they used to be, but I never use them, and I kind of like that design for Toxel. No! All right, finally! That thing took way, way too many Pokeballs to catch, but we just got Toxel. Alright, that thing was annoying to catch, so I'm gonna call it Moody after Mad-Eye Moody. That's pretty awesome though, I was not expecting to get a Pokemon here at all, so I'm very happy to get Toxel. Its moveset is not really that good though, there is one move we can get for it. Belch, which is an insanely powerful move, look at that power, 120 base power, but we need to give it a berry in order to actually use it, so I have to run back to the other town, grab a berry, and give it to this guy. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go back to the wild area real quick. It's been a hot minute since I've been to the wild area. So we're gonna go run up to like the first tree that we see and look at that crazy raid over there. And let's get ourselves some berries. Now remember, I've already been to this location. So if anything crazy pops up, I can't catch it right now. But we will be back here very, very soon once we get our second badge actually. And we'll be able to explore different areas of the wild area and catch lots of new Pokemon. So as soon as we beat Nessa, we're allowed to come back and catch some new stuff. 
All right, cool. So we'll give Moody the Orenberry just in case we need to use it. Although I really don't plan on using Moody until it could actually do some damage once it evolves. So if we can keep this thing alive until level 30, which is only what, like seven levels away. So if we can keep it alive a little bit longer, then we're good to go. All right, with the way things are going, we're absolutely gonna fight Nessa, the second gym leader in this episode. That's crazy. Four episodes without a gym leader, and now we're doing two gyms back to back. So first, to get her to go back to her gym, we gotta talk to her over here. You're one of the ones endorsed by Leon, right? You become something of a hot topic among the gym leaders. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching for a battle with you. Well, I'm absolutely down to battle you too, and that's gonna be crazy. But before we jump into her gym, I'm just gonna run back to Route 5 and do a little bit more training. I wanna get like one more level on everybody because I know her team is gonna be like around the 24, 25 range. And again, I'm doing my best to make sure nobody dies this episode, so I wanna get a few more levels just to ensure that I don't. All right, we're all trained up and ready to go. Let me just give some of my Pokemon some items. And we should be good to go. I think I'm gonna use Hermione going into this gym and maybe swap it up later on. Get some more levels on Hermione if possible. And there's our boy Waluigi. That's never gonna get old walking into a gym and seeing you there. Ooh, a lore ball. That's actually pretty good. Maybe we'll end up using that at some point. All right, let's go in and do Nessa's gym challenge. Now this gym is nostalgic for me and I know that's weird to say because this game came out not too long ago. If you guys might remember, if you've been following my channel for a little while now, back in the summer when the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield demo came out, I watched hours and hours and hours of footage of people playing around in this gym, doing the whole gym puzzle, fighting the trainers, and I recreated it in Pokemon, I think it was like Emerald version or was it Fire Red version? I don't know. But I recreated the whole gym puzzle, and that was a lot of fun to do. So it's nice finally being here in the finalized game and getting to play through it. Welcome to Holbury Stadium, why thank you so much! Let's go ahead and let's hope this is an easy gym for us. Gym Trainer Julia with one of the most adorable Pokemon of all time. I love this little thing. And wow, the Gym Trainers are level 23? I thought Nessa was going to be at 23, that just the regular Gym Trainers are at 23. Alright, well I'm absolutely very glad that I did some training going into this gym. I should have done a little bit more. And wow, see there we go, Bullet Seed only hitting twice. I guess my luck is running out. Oh, Max Lightning. Is that going to be another one of those one damage moves? There's no option right now. I did check. There's no option for me to, like, turn off those max moves from the trainers. I feel bad whenever one of the trainers gets randomized to have a max move because it always does one damage, and it's like it's a free trainer. But hey, after last episode, I'll take it. Now, Hermione has the Shell Bell, so she'll heal up a little bit of her health every time we do some damage. And Riolu! Coming out of the dive ball, it actually looks kind of nice. That's very aesthetic. Crab Hammer. I guess it fits in a water type gym. That actually looks kind of cool. Its tiny little hand turns into a giant crab hammer and smacks down on me. And very nice, Hermione. We got all five hits and knocked out that Riolu. It's funny. She mentions Tim Pole, but she doesn't even have a Tim Pole in this anymore. All right, let's go ahead and start doing this puzzle. Boom. Nice and easy stuff. Now, I'm not exactly sure. It's been a while since I've done this puzzle, but I think I need to hit the yellow one before I hit the red one. I'll feel pretty dumb if that's not the way it is, but that's what I'm going with. Ooh, Berserker! Look at that shiny yellow Berserker. Have not seen that one before. I like that. The golden yellow and the black. It looks very cool. Now, Hermione can't really do much to this Berserker. All of our moves are kind of resistant, so I think I'll set up the Leech Seed. And it's not doing that much to us, so we can slowly but surely take it out, or we could swap in to Barty, who I think will do pretty well here. Let's see, how much is that flash cannon gonna do to me? Eh, it's not awful, but again, we need that leech seed to give us some health back every single turn, so I'm not too worried about this thing. Alright, that went pretty well. Bye-bye, Shiny Berserker. Man, I wish we could see Shinies in the overworld like we did in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I feel like now, whenever I run through an area, I'm missing so many Shinies because I never know if they're Shiny or not. Now, Cursal is a weird one. I could bring out Cedric here, but I think we should be alright if we stay in with Barty. Let's see. Because this thing is not a water type, it's just a pure ghost type. Alright, well, it's gonna swap me out into something else anyway. As long as you don't bring in Moody, I'm pretty happy here. Oh, we're bringing back out Hermione! Yeah, I'll take it. Let's go for that bullet. Oh, no, 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 Hermione. <coughs> we weren't supposed to lose anybody this episode. Hermione. No. We did nothing wrong there with you, Hermione. That's 
awful too. That's the only way they were gonna take out Hermione. Hermione was such a tank and really went through so much for us, there was no other way. That was the only way it was gonna go down. I feel like if that didn't happen there, we would have had Hermione forever. Now I'm gonna go for a little bit of a risky play here. All right, you're holding a heal ball, that's useless. And we're gonna bring out Willow. I think Willow's gonna be faster than this thing and we should be able to go for the Shadow Claw and hopefully take it out. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Get out of here, killing Hermione like that. How dare you? How dare you? Nobody was supposed to die this episode. Especially not Hermione. I really was growing to like Hermione. Rest in peace, Hermione. Alright, I tried my best to run around that last trainer because after losing Hermione, we're essentially down to four Pokemon. We do still have Moody, but again, I really don't want to use Moody. Moody's just asking to die. Ugh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared going into this gym battle here. We're essentially down to four Pokemon, and I'm not liking our odds too much, so I'm hoping that this goes well. Again, if we get through this, we can go to the wild area and we'll be able to catch, I think I set three Pokemon for myself? We'll be able to catch just three Pokemon in the wild area and then whatever else we could catch going on the next few routes. So we will have a full team, I think. I'm thinking, if we get out of here. So that's what I have to look forward to. We beat Nessa, we get a whole bunch of new Pokemon. So let's try to get through this battle with as many of our Pokemon as possible alive. Now the strategy going into this battle I have no clue what she's going to bring out, so I'm leading off with Cedric, because Cedric is the type of Pokemon, like I said before, its its defense is kind of low, so I'm not going to want to swap into Cedric. So I think if I start using Cedric, and Cedric nets a kill right in the beginning, we should be good. Alright, this is it. Gym battle number two against gym leader Nessa, who's sending out a Wingle. This is what I like to see. And that's a shiny Wingle. Look at those green wings right there. Loving all the shinies in this randomizer. This is fantastic. But yes, that is exactly what I want to see right now. Wingle is just the Pokemon I want to see, but Amnesia is not really the move I want to see. <laughs> Wingle's not really a very bulky Pokemon, but raising its special defense with that Amnesia might make it take a little while to kill. And in that time, it might start doing some damage to us, which I really don't want to take. Sparkling Aria. Yeah, that might hurt. That might hurt. 49 health. 49 health. Now, Psybeam, do something good. Crit or Confusion. Or neither. So this is the opportunity where we could swap into something else. Ugh, if Hermione was alive, Hermione would eat up a Sparkling Aria for breakfast. But I think we'll just go for the Psybeam and finish it. Maybe it'll do something dumb here. No, it's gonna go for Sparkling Aria again. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Nice. Nice, Cedric. And eat that Orin Berry. Good. Those berries that I gave my Pokemon and other items, hopefully they come into play in this battle, and hopefully they win us some stuff. Alright, Psybeam is going to take out that Wingle. If it didn't go for Amnesia, we would have gotten it in two hits, but it would have done, I guess, another Sparkling Aria on us. So I'm kind of glad that it went for that instead of a third move. And what, how is this thing pronounced? I think it's like Svilus or something? Yeah, this isn't good for us. Uh, let me see here. Willow doesn't like that, Cedric doesn't like that, and Norbert doesn't like that. So we've got to bring in Barty, and I'm not even too comfortable with Barty in here. Let's hope this thing knows more physical moves and Flame Body activates and burns it. That's really the best I could ask for in this situation right now. What are you going to go for? Don't do something insane, because we really can't risk it right now. Night Days. Uh, I- did my health just, like, teleport down? That bar did not move for me. I don't know if it was just my, like, screen lagging or something, but that looked a little funny to me. Alright, well, let's go for the best that we have right now. Obstructs! Alright, Obstagoon who? Let's try this again. Let's go for Ancient Power. And, wow, that used a lot of Ancient Power PP right there. Wait a second, it went for Night Days again, and yeah, the HP just, like, teleports down. It doesn't even show the sliding animation, so I won't even know <laughs> for a moment how we're doing. Well, we're almost out of Ancient Powers. It's kind of weird. Ugh, I knew it was going to go for Obstructs there. Well, this is it. Our last Ancient Powers are going to go for Night Days again. Yeah, I think so. And just watch that HP. Watch it go down. I think we're going to be around, like, 30-something health right now. We're clearly doing okay. Oh, I saw that little animation pop up on the screen right there, and I thought we got the stat boost, but no, we didn't. Alright, so I'm going to take this opportunity to heal. We're going to use our first potion. Hopefully it goes for Obstruct this turn. I would really like that. Just give us a free heal. We really need it. Yes! 
All right, we're gonna go for Smackdown instead of Flame Charge. Flame Charge has that nice effect of like raising our speed, but I'm kind of afraid of it going for Obstruct because if we hit into the Obstruct, then it's gonna go ahead and actually lower our defense and we're gonna take more damage from other moves. So I don't think that Smackdown, even if it goes for Obstruct here, is actually gonna trigger the, the secondary effect of Obstruct, but we'll see. All right, Barty, can you take this thing out right now? That would be wonderful. Yes. All right, two Pokemon down. We used one out of our three items, and our team is eh, shaky right now, to say the best. Beware. Oh my gosh, beware. I feel like this thing and Bear Tick follow me everywhere. So let's go ahead and try Willow. I really want to go for that Will-O-Wisp, Leech Seed, and just stall this thing out strategy. That would be the ideal situation right now, so let's hope it doesn't have- uh, Choice Band. Wait, that did say Choice Band, right? If that said Choice Band, we're really good, because it won't be able to do anything to us. And I'm also very, very glad that we Wait a second. Icicle Spear, come on now. Come on now, we're not about to lose to Nessa. We are not losing to Nessa. No, we cannot lose to Nessa! Please, stop! 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 No! No, 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 no! Willow! Critical hit. Ugh, this is not looking good for us at all. Not looking good at all. So this thing clearly is a problem for us, and we are in a very bad spot right now. So it's absolutely choice banded and locked into the Ice Spear. That's kind of weird though. I thought it would be stuck using Drain Punch and it wouldn't kill Willow. That's really, really weird. Wait. Wait, I'm so confused right now. Oh wow, we're just losing Barty like that. This thing has the choice band. So how is it using all of these other attacks on me if it's choice banded. Is Nessa cheating? Because we saw that. She has the item, the choice band. She's holding the item, the choice band, but she's able to use all of these other moves right now. I don't know. I, I'm not even going to cons- I don't even know if I'm considering these deaths valid right now, to be quite honest, because it seems like, to me, like Nessa's cheating. Cedric's at 6 HP. Ugh. We could have brought Cedric in first, but Cedric would have died. The only reason Cedric's living is because it's burns. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna count the deaths there, because it's choice banded, but it just freely swapped around and used other attacks, so its attacks are stronger than normal. So it's doing more damage than it normally should. Ugh, I don't know. I really don't know. What I do know is we're gonna swap out against this thing. There's no good outcome for us right there. We'll bring out Norbert right now. Ugh. I don't know. I mean, that might be like... If I don't consider those deaths, that might be like breaking the rules or something. What did it... Did it just raise my attack and my special attack? Thank you? I just kind of think Nessa would totally was cheating there with that other Pokemon. It, okay! Please, give me all the boosts right now. Does this not have any downsides at all? What what are the bad parts of you using that move for me? Because all it's doing right now is raising my attack and my special attack sharply. I'll totally take that. And you know what? If you're going to do that again, I'll heal up Cedric right now. We might even just go ahead and Dynamax next turn. We might be able to win. Yes! What are you doing? What are you doing? This Zigzagoon is the most confusing Pokemon ever! Why would Zigzagoon take turns to literally boost my attack and my special attack? Nessa must feel bad for cheating. That's it. I am so confused right now. I am so unbelievably confused right now. You guys saw that too, right? Where Nessa just spent four of her turns using that move, which raised my attack and my special attack. Now, it only went into effect three times because, you know, we can't go past plus six, but that's crazy. And oh my god, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She has the Verizon Wireless Legendary. Oh, and we have the super effective Aerial Ace. Wait, I just gotta check out my stats because I can't believe that she actually just did that. Yeah, we're at plus six. 
Guys, that's how we're somehow gonna win this battle. We gotta use Dynamax now, and we're gonna go for max airstream, and that raises my speed, right? Because that's what we need. We really need a speed boost, and let's hope that this thing can't do much to me. We might have a way to win this battle. Is that cheating beware? took out two of my Pokemon, and I really thought it was over right there. I thought we were gonna lose, but then that Zigzagoon gave me a real big glimmer of hope, and it's going for Air Cutter. Yes! Yes! Go for these stupid moves! Oh my gosh! Guys, we just straight up one-shot it! We just straight up one-shot it! Let's go! Raise my speed! This might be how we win this battle! Wow! Alright, what's your last Pokemon gonna be? You're saving the best for last? I don't know, that Zigzagoon was amazing. Bunnelby. Bunnelby! Her last Pokemon is a Bunnelby! Oh my gosh, we're about to see a Dynamax Bunnelby! Alright, play that music and get hype in the stadium! Let's go! Dreadnought time to Dynamax! Uh, Nessa, I think you're mistaken here. Crowd's going wild, love this music. I'm in such a good mood, that Zigzagoon... <laughs> It saved everything for me. It really saved everything for me. We were 150% going to lose that battle, but for some reason, that Zigzagoon felt compelled to go ahead and raise my attack and raise my special attack. And now we're getting the crit. We're getting the crit. The randomizer's not over, guys. Oh, I thought it was going to end right there. And I was going to try to figure out a way to continue this because I'm having so much fun doing this randomizer. Wow. What was that battle? This was the craziest battle I have ever played, ever. Nothing makes any sense in that. Now, there might just be something that I don't know. Wait a second, hold the phone. I just did a little search. Beware gets an ability called Klutz, which basically makes it so it can't receive the effects of any held items that, it, you know, it's holding. So... It had that choice band. However, the effects of the choice band were negated because of its ability. I did not know it got that ability, Klutz. So, that does mean, unfortunately, Willow's death and Barty's death are both legitimate. So that makes total sense now why it was immune to the effects of the choice item. I was so confused for a good moment. So, my friends, we wanted no deaths this episode. We had Three. On the horizon, we have plenty of new Pokemon to encounter in the wild area. On top of that, I gotta do a lot of training. I gotta do a lot of training. This game is challenging, the trainers are tough, but guys, this is so much fun. I'm learning so much about all these obscure moves and obscure abilities that you just normally never see. I felt like a total noob when I realized that Beware gets that Klutz ability. I'm, I'm complaining here for like a good minute about she's cheating, she's cheating, she's cheating. No, it's an ability in Pokemon. Get good, Mike. But my friends, that was the craziest battle I've ever had. Thanks so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time where we're going to make the comeback of a century.